There are three basic tools that students find helpful in managing their time. A reminder tool, a prioritization tool, and a planning tool. We're going to cover the first two of those tools in this video. Since there's usually so much to be done in a week, a student needs some kind of external tool to keep track of it. Trying to keep track of it in their head usually just leads to problems. Of course, the simplest tool to use is a to-do list. To use a to-do list, simply write down the things you need to do as you think of them. As you do them, cross them off. If you change your mind and decide not to do something on the list, cross it off immediately. You do not want your list to get cluttered. Similarly, if after a certain amount of time has passed and you haven't done the item on the list, cross it off. It probably wasn't that important. It's often helpful to treat these lists as if they have an expiration date, and every once in a while you just throw out the list and start new. You might want to be cautious of using sticky notes instead of a list. After a while, you start to ignore those sticky notes and forget to do things. Most students find that a paper list in their notebook is a much better tool. It is also a lot more portable than the sticky note. A to-do list can be a very effective system. Even better, though, would be to put some kind of timeline on it. A simple way to do this, of course, is with a calendar. When using a calendar, it's often helpful to have all four months visible at one time. That way you can see your entire term. Even better would be to break down your tasks into categories. The term tool divides your time into whole weeks rather than specific days. The week is a good unit of time because it follows your class schedule. These tasks are further broken down by course and extracurricular activity. The advantage of this tool is that you can add tasks and you don't have to specify which day you're going to do those tasks on. For example, with chapter readings, you can't tell in advance which day of the week you're going to do them, but you know that somewhere in that week you're going to need to read that chapter. This tool also helps visualize your entire term and look at your workload and maybe spread things out a bit. It also helps monitor your progress. The second major time management tool is prioritization. This is some way to decide between the more important tasks and the less important tasks. Without a tool to do this, it's really easy to fall in the trap of doing the things that are easy, the things that you enjoy, the things that are short, or the things that are urgent. And sometimes those aren't the important things, which are usually hard, difficult, boring, and aren't due for two weeks. One of the simplest prioritization methods is called dump and sift. This is where you take a blank piece of paper and you write down everything you think you should, could, want, half, must do for the next two weeks onto that piece of paper. Now there's probably too many items on that sheet of paper to actually get done in the two weeks, so you're going to want to narrow it down. One way to do that is to select which items you think are the most essential, most fundamental for you to do this week. Notice that I'm going from a two-week view down to a one-week view. This is often very helpful in focusing you on what is truly the most important things to do. After you've identified what you think is most important to do this week, I encourage you to write it on a separate list. You can then check those items off as you do them. You can also take those items and put them into your weekly planner, which will be covered in the next video. Please keep in mind that these are only a selection of tools that you can use to remind yourself and prioritize. There are many others, and you might find that improvisation will help you as well.